Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. If you're wondering what is the road opener and how to use it for manifestations, you landed on the right video. Today I'm going to give you a quick and simple explanation of how to use the road opener, better yet known as Elegua, for your manifestations. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives you all types of manifesting techniques. Listen, the only thing I'm asking for you to do to support this channel is to like, subscribe, and tap that bell just to get notifications of my up and coming videos. But you know what? Most of all, just keep watching the videos. So now if you want to know how to use the road opener for your manifestations, keep watching. I'm back everyone. Now, what is it that I need to tell you about the road opener, better yet known as Elegua? Elegua could be spelled E-L-E-G-U-A or E-L-E-G-G-U-A and there are other spellings to this name. Now, Elegua, the road opener, is part of the Orisha religion or the Yoruba religion, okay? And this is the one that opens your path. Now, this is important, you guys, because so many people are struggling to get where they want to be in life. They're feeling like they got a roadblock. They're feeling like people are coming up against them at their job. They feel like something is holding them back. This is when I tell people, hey, look, get the road opener. And I'm going to explain to you what to do. What are the colors of the road opener if you want to represent the road opener, Ilegua? And that would be red and black. And I love the colors because black is the protector. At the same time, the red is for motivation, for inspiration. And it's also a protecting color. Now, what are the items that I'm telling you that you can use for the road opener? The first thing is the oil. This is the road opener oil. And I use this a lot, you guys, and I'm going to tell you how I use it. The next thing is the candle. Now, I use the road opener candle. Now, right now, I'm using Ilegua, okay? But you can get the one that says road opener. The candle usually comes in white and green, everyone. And this is the candle that I recommend during my coaching sessions, okay? And you're getting it for free, okay? The next thing I would tell you is if you want to represent a leg rod or the road opener, you can wear beads, okay? Beaded necklaces that are red and black, okay? And that would represent Elegua. The next thing that I have in my home, and that is the Elegua um, figurine. It's the statue, okay? And this is the typical statue. Now, the Elegua statue either comes as a older gentleman, this one right here, or it can come as a child or a very old man. These are all the stages, okay? Remember, when the doors are opening up, it always represents a child. When the roads are opening up, it's always the ending of whatever it is that you never wanted. But for me, the figurine is the middle age um, road opener, Ilegua, okay? And this is the one that I use. Now, how are you going to use these things? Let's start off with the oil. If you're trying to manifest anything in your life and you feel like you are just blocked, you feel like nothing is working out, this is the thing to use. The oil. If you are not allergic to oils or sensitive on your skin, you can actually dab a little bit on your neck or put a little spot uh, on your clothes as long as it doesn't stain. You can also anoint any candle you are using with the road opener. Let's just say you have a money candle. Okay, I have one right here, Le Lokin's Awens, and it's already dressed for this purpose. But for me, if I feel like I have a blockage with my money, I might take a little bit of road opener oil, put it on my hands, and roll it on the candle before I light it. And at the same time, set the intent for what it is that I want. I might say something like, thank you God for blessing me with abundance. As the roads open for me, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. As the roads open for me, I see money coming to me in great avalanches. I see doors opening up for me. I want to thank you, God. I want to thank you, road opener, Ilegua. I want to thank you, everyone that is looking over me, blessing me with abundance. Now, as an extra tip that I didn't mention, and I want to go back to that, is the road opener 
is a great way of opening the doors using a clearing candle. Now, again, I mentioned before, you can place oil on the wealth candle. You can also place oil on a clearing candle. And again, it will open up the doors for whatever it is that you want. Now, the next thing you can do with the oil is if you prefer writing on a bay leaf and you're writing success, you're writing um, love, whatever's going on, better health, the road opener can be added afterwards to your bay leaf. You can pat it on your bay leaf so that it don't break, you pat it. And then you can do whatever it is you, you plan to do, put it in a sachet bag or whatever you plan to do. But the thing is, the road opener oil can be used for anything. Now, when it comes down to the candle, the candle is powerful, you guys. And I will tell you, the reason it's not lit now is because I do not burn candles when I am not home. Okay, you guys? So I will snuff them out. And I will tell you guys that never leave a candle burning when you're not at home. Okay, when you're not in its presence. So what I do is before I light a candle of Ilegua, I might carve my name in the candle, okay? If it's a pull-out candle that's representing road opener or Allegra, I might write my name going down and I might write what it is that I want. Now, if this is a pull-out candle, I will absolutely, no matter what candle I'm using, if it's road opener or not, I might take some road opener oil and roll it on that candle, anoint it on that candle to add to it for the doors to be open for me for whatever it is I'm trying to do. Now, when you have the road open a candle and it's a seven day candle, you write your name on the top, okay? For me, after that, I might put a drop of road opener. I might add something else that I want. Maybe I'm trying to do money, okay, with the road opener. So I might put a prosperity oil in here or a money drawing oil. And then I follow a little drop of road opener oil. And then I would light it after I set the intent in the candle for what I wanted to do. At that time, I might sit in front of it for a while, do some scripting, do some prayer work, some meditation, and then go on about my day. How do, how do I use the Allegra symbol in my home? It just sits wherever it is I'm doing my spiritual practices. So if I'm burning a candle and it's a open the road or a road open a candle, I would place this statue near it, okay? Now, another thing, I might write out what it is that I want and place it in front of the candle or under the candle and place it in front of the statue, okay? There's so many things that you can do with the road opener. It is unbelievable. But the main thing you guys need to know is you can anoint anything with the road opener oil or Allegra oil, symbolizing you want that thing to open up. So again, if you're looking at money, health, love, success, whatever it is you're doing, you can anoint it with the road opener oil, whether it's a candle, whether it's a bay leaf, whether it's a cinnamon stick that you're placing in your wallet, okay? Maybe you have a charm that you carry around or crystals that you wear for the day. Now, as a small tip, when you are going through challenges and situations, you are welcome to add other oils to whatever it is that you're doing that I mentioned. If you are trying to manifest money and you feel like somebody is going against you, you can also combine this with other things like holy oil. You can combine it with high John oil. Again, you're only using a drop and that's why you can combine it with other things. Other than that, the whole thing is setting the intent. The road opener does not make decisions for you. You have free will in your life to make your own decisions in your life. Now, what the road opener does is open up the path, whether it's good or bad, opens up the path for what it is that you desire. Okay, everyone, I just showed you how to use the road opener, Elegra, to help you with your manifestations. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. If you want to join us for the live stream, we are on live every Sunday morning. 
Come join us and join like-minded people. If you want to support this channel a little more, like many has already done, please, there's a join button for membership right below this video. If you want any of these products, I have a link in the description that'll take you to my site. I also have the shop button that is located in this video that will actually pop up on the side and show you all of these items. Other than that, if you want to support this channel a little more, I do have the 369 Manifestation Journal and the It Works Journal. Again, the links are all in the description. Thank you and namaste.